That music's not annoying, is it? No, that's not annoying at all. What's up, chat? What's up, fucking chat? How you doing? How you doing, everybody? Today, we're talking about anything you want to talk about. It doesn't have to be about Plague Moth. If you want to bring up anything else, feel free to do so. If you are a fan of Plague Moth, please feel free to speak. You will not be banned unless you say some wild shit, like threatening somebody. Or, you know, just spamming false shit or whatever. Unlike some people named Plagued Moth, who cannot take anyone disagreeing with them, and gets rid of anyone who says anything other than what they want from their comments, from their Twitter, different things like that. You have to be a waste of time. You have to be a real uh, piece of shit for me to fucking bother. All right. Boop, 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 boop. I'm just ordering things on screen here with my fucking OBS. All right, well, you got a fucking bunch of shit in the chat already. Uh, oh, shit. Hi, Slime. Haldo. Hail. How's your week been, man? My week's been fine. God, is it the end of the week already? Time flies when you're having fun. Or eating pizza and sleeping, as my fat asses want to do. <sighs> my week has been fine. Uh, not so much for... Plague Moth, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Fucking shit. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. I built my career on the backs of dead people and making fun of the dead and making fun of children getting killed. I built my career on that, and then my career ended. What the fuck? I harassed people and attacked people and defamed people with false information, and then my career ended? What? I can't believe it. And now Plague Moth has apparently been fired for spitting in the McDonald's ketchup, and he's going to lie and say that uh, people were calling his work. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Plague Moth L, yo, what you say, big man? Uh, I don't know, probably something. Pointing myself right now. Well, <laughs> this was a while back, so I guess you're done now, so there's not much I can say about that. What? Why does Moth love you so much? Well, as I said in chat, he hasn't gotten fucked this good in years. Uh, nice, hard... Uh, fucking in front of everybody in the metaphorical sense. And my cat wants to leave the room. Cat, you are a very stupid cat. And that's okay, because we love, we love stupid cats around here. You can't just go scrambling through everything. You can't make holes in the wall. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> fucking Christ. Alright, hopefully that's the last we'll hear of that. Uh, he might be gay. Well, Bobas, come on. Come on, Bobas. Come on. Come on. We all might be a little gay sometimes. Are you seriously trying to get out of the room again? All right. All right. All right. There you go, dummy. Crazy nut. All right. Do, 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 do. And uh, trying to come back in the room. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, if you're new to my streams, that happens all the fucking time. I don't stream very often, so luckily you don't have to hear it very much. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. But yeah, aren't we all a little gay sometimes? I'll work in a minute. Who's making the Slime X Moth art? Please don't make any ship art of me or anything like that. It is... I... I, I know your joke... Cat. I know you're joking, but... Oh my god.
Alright, don't worry, we'll cut all that out in post. Alright, where were we? <sighs> don't loot me. <laughs> right when I'm having dinner. Uh, you can have dinner while you listen to this. I'm not going to say anything disgusting. I'm like Moth. I will say this before you start your dinner. What, what the fuck is up with... Uh, never mind. I was going to say what is up with him and his, you know... Proclivities toward the uh, scatological and urine related. Seems like a, a bit odd that he keeps bringing those up in certain aspects. Of his streams and shit like that. Moth's stream is unlisted right now. Well, yeah, of course, he unlists his stream because he hides everything he says. Here's what Moth does. Moth says some wild shit. Moth makes false allegations. Moth says, trust me, bro, and shows no uh, receipts of anything. And he just makes shit up on the fly. And then he unlists the stream, thinking that he might get ahead of people so that nobody can disprove him. Nobody can get the clips of him saying it. Nobody can prove he lies. But, you know, there's so many people that fucking record his shit. I would guarantee you that most of his viewers are hate watchers, especially at this point. Even at uh, this point where his views are so low. So he has his wife, and that's why they're in an open relationship. I don't know. Once you go slime, you ain't going back. True. You know what's about to happen. Alright, for anyone who is new, I have a cat, and when I start talking, uh, recording at all, the cat wants to go in and out of the room because she doesn't know what's going on. She's like, who are you talking to? Why are you talking? What are you saying? What's going on? I must get out of here. Wait, what is he saying in there? I have to get back in there. I'm doing alright. I hope you're doing well, Slime Beast. I'm doing fine. Apparently, Plague Moth isn't. <laughs> Fuck. Moth is so salty. Uh, I'm skipping ahead in the chat here. Because we're get getting a little off to a rocky start with this fucking shit I have to keep getting up for. I'm doing alright. Uh, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I hope. I'm glad you're doing well. Supported him until Lyrics' stream after watching just a few minutes of his stream tonight. I'm glad I did. That Lyrics stream was wild. Moth went completely mask off in that stre stream. Now, Moth is going around now saying, uh, I was just kidding on that, <laughs> that <laughs> Lyrics stream. <laughs> He's going around saying, uh, lyrics, I could tell that, oh, no, wait, let me do, let me do his real voice. I could tell that lyrics was biased, so I, uh, I just started messing with him, and I just started saying things that weren't true, and I just started saying, yep, sure, okay, whatever, and I just told lyrics what he wanted to hear. Bullshit you did, motherfucker, that was not you just telling a joke, you, he fucking exposed himself hardcore on that fucking stream. The mask came completely off. When Lyric said uh, he was aban uh, abandoning, he was abusing the systems that were in place, he said he didn't care. He just said, I don't really care what YouTube's stance is on blah, blah, blah. So, you know, he went full mask off, says he doesn't care. Uh, his stupid wife went on there and said, uh, I made the false reports because I thought, I don't know, I just don't like them. I thought maybe something would give leeway. In other words, I thought something would give way and we could just, you know, push back and make these people crumble, is what she's talking about. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, that was completely mask off for them, and now Plague Moth has been spending his time trying to take back everything he said. He admitted that he lied on that stream. He admitted that he made up allegations. Pretty much everything. And, yeah, he admitted to all of it. And once you admit that you were lying, you can't go back and say, I was lying about lying. I mean, think about that. If you say that you lied about something then going back and saying, I lied about lying, is like, okay, it's pretty much a double negative, in as much as, now nothing you say <laughs> means anything. Because <laughs> if you're going to admit to lying, you could say, okay, if you admit to lying, from this point forward, 
maybe we can believe that you might change your ways, you might be a better person, you might stop being a dick shit loser. But then you go and you say, I was lying about lying, and actually everything I said was true. Then it's like, oh, okay, you didn't learn anything and you're just a piece of shit. So now nothing you say, you know, fucking matters. But yeah, uh, so what was he saying on his uh, fucking stream? I tuned in here and there, and there was, uh, he's calling Lazy Bedhead's boyfriend a pedophile again, even though he said he made that up. He's doing it again for no fucking reason. Uh, he's just a butthurt piece of shit. And I really hope that someone in his family uh, is like a, like a, a good, solid, stable person who can sort of take over the reins and take over, you know, taking care of and taking proper care of, you know, his pets, his family, whatever. You know, someone can step in sort of like an angel figure, you know, like, and sort of guide people in the right direction. Uh, because he is not the person, Andrea is not the person, these people are not stable in any way, and they're going to end up on the street completely of their own fault. It is completely, completely their own fault, just as much as it is the fault of somebody who's raising a large family and then they go and rob a convenience store. Or they're raising a large family and then they go and, you know, grope some woman's ass on the subway. You know, you made a decision to do something fucking stupid. You made a decision to do something that can get you in hot fucking water. And you're going to blame everybody else but yourself? I don't think so. It's your fault as much as any of those other fucking people. Because make no mistake, you know, Moth... <laughs> fucking Jesus. The amount of defamation and libel and slander and harassment and threats coming out of the dude... Guarantee you, I guarantee you, if he was taken to a criminal court for harassment, he would go to jail. He would go to fucking prison. But, you know, that's not going to happen because we live in a world, you know, we live in reality and not everybody gets what's coming to them. You know, like he always says, if I, if I viewed any illegal material, I'd be in jail right now. And it's like, motherfucker, do you know how many people... You know, you hear about all those fucking cases where, like, a pedo will be caught and sent to fucking jail and shipped off to a fucking box to live the rest of his miserable life and get beaten, you know, daily. And these pedos, a lot of the time in the news you'll hear, uh, yeah, this person was a attacking their niece for nine years. Or this person had a collection of 300, you know, terabytes. <laughs> That's way too much. Probably, I don't know. They had like 300 terabytes of illegal pornography on their computer. And it's like, that means that that person had 299 terabytes before they were caught. But this motherfucker is going to sit there and say, if I ever did a single thing that was ever illegal, I'd be in prison right away. C give me a fucking break. Anyway. Moth lies. SM. Hmm. So much about other people that I don't know how anyone can believe he's as poor as he says he is. I, yeah, hmm. He lied to his audience about not having a job. Or he lied to his audience about having a job. Because back when Plague Moth was originally fundraising and e-begging... By the way, I know my voice is probably really quiet. This microphone is new and it fucking sucks. Um... Back when he was e-begging previously, he said, this is my only job, is doing YouTube. And guys, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. My only job is doing this. This is my only source of income. My only thing. My only thing. And then now, when he's fundraising, he says, well, I haven't really been honest because I had an in-person job, and I didn't want to say that because I didn't want people calling my work and finding out that I had a job. But people found out I had a job and called it. It's like, okay, one of those two times you're lying to your audience. Either you're lying about having the job or not having the job. One of those two times you lied to your audience for money. And the question is this, too. Hey, Moth. If you didn't want anyone to know you had a job, so you lied and said you didn't have a job, how would anybody have found your job? Like, I'm, I'm mystified. 
because I have seen a bunch of shit about Plague Moth. Like, people have sent, sent me a ton of shit. I talked to one of his old roommates, because somebody said, this is his old roommate, and he wants to talk. And I'm like, alright, I'll DM him and say, hey, you know, did you really want to talk to me, or is this person full of shit? And they were like, yeah, you know, Moth killed one of my pets. Which is a whole other fucking thing. Uh, and I have seen so much fucking shit on Moth, people send me fucking everything about this dude. And nobody... Nobody has ever sent me his address. Nobody has ever sent me pictures of his kids. Nobody has ever sent me where he works. Nobody has ever sent me any of this shit. To the point where I don't know if anybody really actually knows any of this shit about him. Until uh, more recently where he was kicked out of his fucking house. Or is getting kicked out of his house. Because that comes with a lot of information about, you know, court documents and court, you know, this, that, and the other thing, and blah, 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 blah. Hey, look at this. He's getting kicked out. Hey, look at this eviction notice. Hey, look at this. And then people know, oh, you're in that state. Okay, interesting. But, uh, other than that, who the fuck knew where he worked? Who knew he had a job? Very obviously lying. And this dude sits on his fucking stream, and he says... Slime Beast called my work. Evidence? Proof? Anything? Uh, oh, what was it he said? Uh, somebody asked for evidence and he said, what do you want me to do? Call the number back and record it? And it's like, yes, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Get any shred of evidence, yes. Write down the number. Post the number where you got the call from. Post a message, post an email, a text message, anything from your boss saying that that happened. Post a police report. Give any information. Fucking liar. Dude spat in the ketchup and got fired. Decided it was, you know, time to blame everybody. If he even had a job. I don't know. You know, this may be the thing. He's getting evicted. Time to make up a desperate story. He may have just made this up, you know, to try to get more, you know, e-bagging in. I don't know. I was a fan of Moth until the last few days. When you're going to hear me be mean to this guy because he's been a piece of shit. He's been posting my mother's name up. He's been posting up information like that. And then he has the nerve to say, <laughs> Swine Beast, Swine Beast posted a picture of my mommy to me. And it's like, yeah, motherfucker, you were posting up information about my mother, so I posted up to you saying, you want to you wanna fucking go? You want to do this? You want to talk about somebody else's parent? This has been for months he's been doing this, by the way. So take your own fucking medicine, you piece of shit. But anyway. By the way, no information about his mother. Just a picture from, like, from social, social media or something. And I didn't even say who it was. <laughs> I just posted it up to him. He fucking doxed himself by saying who it was. It's fucking funny. I'm doing alright. I hope uh, well, I'm reading all the way back because I didn't scroll down. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Whoop. Ah, shit. Do, 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 do. But yeah, you're going to hear me be mean to this dude because he's been uh, a piece of shit for a year and he's been harassing and stalking the shit out of me for a year. He brought this up, by the way. He started this shit. He's fond of saying that uh, people come after him. He has gone after pretty much everybody that he's talked about because, like me personally, like Scare Theater is a perfect example. Scare Theater didn't do shit and this dude's going after him. You know, I didn't do shit, and he started talking about me. Why? Because I was someone who had worked with TCR in the past, that creepy reading. And so because I had worked with TCR on something, he decided to start fucking attacking. But yeah. Yo, dude, what is your favorite horror film and any good recommendations? On my front page, on the front page of my YouTube channel at the bottom, I have a playlist of movie recommendations. And my favorite is probably in there somewhere. It's hard to pick one, you know? I really liked Psycho Gorman. I thought that was really fucking funny. And it was a good, you know, reference back to, like, 90s, 80s, 90s kind of shit. Slimy Stubby as always, possibly. Any updates on the civil suit? I'm waiting on somebody to get off their fucking ass, and they know who they are. <laughs> they know who they are. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to say about that civil suit. Okay, um... <sighs> Plagued Moth was sent an actual cease and desist... Not the bullshit, you know, funny business that he tried to do where he just copied and pasted something off of a Google search. He was sent an actual cease and desist. Uh, he uh, likes to say publicly 
that it was not real or this down the other thing, but he's just parroting he's parroting what I said about his. So he's just like, you know, it's the projection again, where he parrots uh, whatever is said about him, he parrots that back and says, no, you did that. Um, I'm waiting for somebody who would be involved in the case to do something that is necessary to do. I'll put it like that. Honestly, I used to watch Moth, but I stopped after the Ronnie video. He seemed very disingenuous. Yeah. If you're gonna... Here's the thing. It's not hard. It's not hard to make a reaction channel to Gore and just not be flippant about it and be an asshole about it. And that's not even the thing. You know, a lot of people like uh, that Nick the asshole, uh, that Nick Diorio and... Uh, Chud Logic and you know, different people like that, and you know I have nothing against Chud Logic or anything, but this is something he said. Uh, you know he said all these people pearl, you know, clutching their pearls about gore, and it's like, bitch, have you even been listening? <laughs> and the answer is no, because these you know commentary YouTubers, all of them, uh, do uh, essentially little to no research, sit down on the stream and then watch somebody else's video at two times speed, and then stop at like two minutes, and say, well, there's nothing here. So, you know, no shit, they don't know what the fuck's going on. But, you know, these people say, you know, all this pearl clutching about gore. And I don't think, other than selling the content, and not age-restricting the content, I don't think any of us have any actual fucking problem with the gore. Like, none of us that I know of, and when I say us, I mean people who have talked about Moth, uh, I don't think anyone specifically is like, nobody can ever watch gore. Nobody should ever see that. It should be illegal. You should be locked up and thrown in, <laughs> in the prison. I think people have specific issues with certain things. I don't think it's all about just fucking what the content is. So here's the thing. How fucking stupid is he to not just do a fucking respectful quote-unquote channel you know, respectful quote-unquote videos and not sell anything and age-restrict it, he probably would still be fucking monetized on YouTube. I wouldn't fucking doubt it. And part of being respectful is not showing the fucking gore. But, uh... You know, that's the thing, is you can talk about subjective things about respect and different things like that, but again, I don't think anybody has an actual problem with the content, and a lot of people would probably say, I don't care if he's disrespectful. Like, I don't... Me, personally... I don't care if he's disrespectful. I care about it when he then tries to morally grandstand. Like when Moth says, Oh, these people are making fun of my wife, or, you know, whatever certain thing. And then it's like, uh, yeah, and you made fun of a child dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> then it becomes a thing where it's like, okay, now you're a hypocrite. Anyway, He's now claiming some other shit about Lazy Bedhead's boyfriend. Yeah, he, uh... He lied about that in the beginning. He admitted he lied about it. Now he's going back to the lie. Even though he admitted to only calling him a pedo to piss Lazy off. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. This is a guy... Okay, so I will tell you the entirety of Plague Moth's tactic here. Plague Moth's tactic is to claim that he is being attacked. It is to claim he is being threatened. And it's to claim that people are going after his family. Because that gives him the moral high ground, right? So what does he do? He does everything he can to try to provoke people. He tries to provoke them to threaten him, to go after his family, to do things like that. That is his entire MO. And it's patently obvious and it's you know been obvious from the beginning. He's just trying to incite people and trying to provoke people to threaten him to say things or to do things that he can then claim. And failing that, he just makes them up. Like, nobody called his fucking work. Give me a fucking break. I would, I would defy anybody. And, you know, I would actually put money on this. I would put, like, a cash reward, and I would say, I will pay $1,000 to anyone who can tell me where Moth used to work. Now, here's the thing. It's not doxing or trying to find somebody's docs because he doesn't work there anymore. <laughs> so it's not trying to find where he would be. But 
I'm not going to do that, not only because it, you know, looks and sounds very strange, but also because Moth would just, you know, fake some shit or do some shit to try to get the money himself under an alt, you know, or whatever. But, you know, that's the thing is, I would feel confident enough to say that nobody knows where he fucking worked. I would feel confident enough to say, here's a thousand dollars. Prove that somebody knew where the fuck this idiot worked. But you can't do that, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons they already declared. And, you know, he'll probably go and say, uh, Slime Beast is offering a thousand dollars for my location, which, you know, he would, he could, he could say that anyway, though. That's his big flaw in his plan, is that uh, when you lie about anything and when you make up a bunch of bullshit, that means that you could make up anything or any bullshit you want, and so why should anyone pussyfoot around you? Because if somebody doesn't give you any ammunition, if somebody doesn't give you an opening, you still would make it up and say that they're doing it. So what's the point? Why not just fucking go after you, you know, verbally? Uh, I'd be gay for $20, says Yucky. Would you rather have... Let me see. Let me know if you're having a good evening. Tell you guys I love them. No, they're bad. <laughs> Would you rather have unlimited games but no bacon or unlimited games but no games? Um, I've seen that question before. And I would rather have... No games and no bacon, because I probably would get a lot more done. And they'd be, uh... I don't eat bacon, so... Cat got mad, you called him stupid, yeah. What's the context of your moth tweet involving a 13-year-old? Okay. do 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 I got my directory shit. Here's something you'll never see from moth, and that is proof! <laughs> proof of anything he ever says. Something you will never, ever, ever see from Moth. Moth will make a ton of claims. Uh, this, that, and the other thing. He'll never be able to show anything. Alright, so here we go. Boop. Boop. And boop. And boop. So when I say on uh, Twitter that Moth groomed a 13-year-old girl, I'm talking about one of his moderators. He had a 13-year-old girl that was a Discord moderator. Can it get any more cliched than that, my friend? I don't think so. And he was fast and loose and, you know, saying a lot of wild shit around this girl. And a lot of it comes off as, uh, like, joking, like, you know, shitposting. But it comes off a lot like JK unless. Like, you know, I'm going to say some sexual things around this 13-year-old said Plague Moth. Uh, we'll just say <laughs> how she reacts. You know, we'll see what happens. That's what it seems like to me. But here's the thing. This guy asks his nudes... Uh, asks his nudes. Asks his fans for nudes on Twitter. This guy has a special place on his Discord for fans to post nudes if they're verified that they're 18. People who are under 18, like 15, 16, 17, they can be in his Discord, and they can hang out there for a while, and on their 18th birthday they can post nudes for him. Too many fucking red flags. Too many fucking red flags. And some people have said, oh, well, you know, that's not grooming because he didn't try to meet with the girl. He didn't try to meet with any teenagers. And I'm like, motherfucker, that is not what grooming is. Grooming is the act of grooming someone toward something. If you quit, if you stop, if the person turns you down or the person leaves and you don't fulfill it to the fucking end, that doesn't mean you didn't fucking try to groom somebody. That doesn't mean you weren't grooming somebody in general. It's fucking crazy, you know, the, the links people will go to to forgive shit like this. Like, you can look fucking through anything I have ever fucking posted, and you will never see me making any sexual comments like that toward anybody online, adult or not, saying, you know, hey, baby, huh. What do, you, what do you think about huh, this fetish? <laughs> like, fucking Christ, dude. And yet he's doing this to a fucking 13-year-old, and we're expected to be like, I, uh, let's give him benefit of the doubt. <laughs> no. Grooming behavior from a groomer. If you take one step toward grooming somebody, if you do one fucking step toward grooming a kid, 
you are grooming them. You are a groomer. So that's my fucking, that's my take on it. By the way, there's more with that 13-year-old, but we won't get into it. It's fucking a bunch of bullshit. Not, you know, that's like the big sm smoking gun shit is uh, this dude just being wild and loose around somebody he knew was a fucking kid. He knew that was an underage user. They had, like, minor in their name and shit. All Moth did was say shit about you provide zero evidence. What's new? Welcome to the party. It's all he ever does. <laughs> hey, everybody! Who wants to see me prove? This is Plague Moth speaking, by the way. <laughs> this is my impression of him. Who wants to see me prove that Slime Beast is the predator? I'm going to prove that. I'm going to prove that right now. Who wants to see that? Who wants to see proof? I'm going to prove it. Oh, my favorite anime? Naruto. Yeah, I like Naruto. You know, like, instant topic change. Pr you know, promises proof, never has proof. You two should just box at this point. I don't need a... I don't need a death on my record. Because, you know, the one-punch killers? <laughs> if you've ever heard of one-punch killers, it's somebody who gets, like, in a bar fight, and, like, somebody speaks that line, or somebody grabs their girlfriend, or somebody does something that makes the guy pissed, and so the guy pops him one, and he punches him. And you hit somebody just right, and they're fucking dead. Even if you don't intend it. You know, like, it's something that happens all the fucking time, and it fucking sucks. For everybody involved. Because, you know, somebody who slugs somebody else for some shit doesn't intend to kill them. And I, you know, I don't need that shit on my fucking conscience. You know, he's fucking somebody who, uh... You could tell by looking at him, he is the definition of a straw man. <laughs> like, he he uses straw man arguments, and he is physically a strong man. Strong man? Straw man. Ain't no fucking strong man, that's for sure. But yeah, it would be like punching a scarecrow. You'd think by now Moth would back up and show evidence with his claims. That said, if he did want to set up a boxing event or anything like that, that I could, you know, get to in my area, because I don't want to fucking go to fucking his state, uh... If you did want to set up anything like that, I would happily join in on it. I would just try not to fucking punch him too hard. I'd just go easy on him, and he still would double over. That or I could just fall over on him. You'd think by now Moth would back up and show evidence with his claims. Nope, he never will. He has none. He Here's what Moth does. Moth finds other people and says they're me. <laughs> that is how pathetic he is at this point. He goes to an anonymous image board. He goes to a thread that is written by Anonymous, and he says, Anonymous here, that's Slime Beast. And it's like, why? Because I say so. That <laughs> Fucking shithead. You two should ha Discord call in it. We did a Discord call. He uh, turned me down and wouldn't stop shouting because he has no uh, point to make, and he's deathly afraid of anybody else speaking but him. You could see, when you say Discord call... You saw what happened to him with lyrics, right? <laughs> uh, he was on that Turkey Tom stream, and to Turkey Tom doesn't know how to moderate anything. Turkey Tom is like, I did a good job moderating. No, you fucking... Come on, dude. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Start us. Dude's like, you know... Uh, huffing his own ass a little bit there. Because he you know, did not moderate that at all. But you could hear what uh, that would be like. Moth just shouts over people, and screams and screams and screams. And the lyrics interview, Plague Moth thought he was going to get an easy ride, so he didn't scream. And you see what happened. He got fucked. So that's the thing. You can't do a Discord thing with him because he would just, sh you know, shout and scream. Wait, isn't Moth a pedo himself? Plague Moth... Okay. This is the thing. Plague Moth is a pedophile by his own standards. Plague Moth judges other people and says, oh, you know, when TCR, TCR, when he was like 18 or something, he wrote a blog post that had, you know, mention of jerking off in it. And thus, TCR, uh, let's see, some of his audience could be kids, so TCR writing this blog post when he was 18 to an audience that might include kids or does include kids that's being a pedophile. That's what Moth does. Meanwhile, uh, let me see what I got here. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. Where is... I'm going to have to look this up. I thought I had it saved on my fucking uh, desktop here, but I'll get it for you in a second here. Meanwhile, Moth says a bunch of out-of-pocket shit. And so by his own standards, he would be a pedophile. By his own standards. Let's take a look at something here. We're going to have a receipt for y'all. We're going to have something that he never fucking shows. So this is Plague Moth in a discussion with somebody on Twitter. And Plague Moth says... Please don't shame people like Charlie with your ass-backwards ideas. I say this not as a fan, but as a logical adult and father. Creepy. Fucking creepy. The man is intelligent and speaks the truth. That isn't pedophilia, and it's not illegal either. 17 to 26. Yeah, that's a bad stretch, I agree, because mental. And then I assume there was a second tweet, but it's gone by now. Probably deleted. Uh... So he's saying right here that a 26-year-old dating a 17-year-old, that's not pedophilia and it's not illegal. Now, regardless of your stance on this, this is the same fucking shit that he calls other people pedos for. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this dude stretches other people's opinions or other people's statements or other people's past things where they've said, you know, things in debates like TCR. He stretches that into saying that they're pedophiles. But he himself has a bunch of old shit and a bunch of current shit where he says wild shit about kids. Like saying that he educates children about necrophilia. Joke or not, that is what you use to call other people pedophiles, Plague Moth. They're statements. You take statements and you'll put them out of context or you'll change the meaning or you'll do whatever. So by your own... By your own standards, Plague Moth, you are a pedophile. By your own standards. If Plague Moth saw himself walking down the street, he would point at that guy and say pedo, because that was what he calls a pedophile. But yeah. Anyway. Reading, 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 reading. But yeah, to me, him speaking sexually with a 13-year-old on Discord, jokes or not. JK, unless... Uh, to me, that makes him a groomer. To Plagued Moth, in his own definition of what a pedophile is, that would make him a pedophile. Will you still love me when I got nothing but aching soul? Possibly. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? I'm drunk. Cool. By the way, Plague Moth, he likes to say, whenever Plague Moth is caught saying something uh, fucking suspicious or creepy about children or whatever, he likes to say that he was drunk. He'll say, I was drunk in shitposting. Okay, Plague Moth, everybody you disagree with was drunk in shitposting. There, now you have no evidence of anything. Not that he did anyway, but you get what I'm saying. When TCR, when that creepy reading was in that debate, oh, that creepy reading was drunk and shitposting. There. Is that just the excuse that, you know, goes for everything, or just you? My voice is fine as... F <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. He is a horror cow, yes. He is... Plague Moth, I think, you know, I'm picking up certain things. I'm learning certain things. Uh, internet terminology. I would say that Plague Moth is a lol cow based on what I have... Uh, garnered from things. I'm not an expert, so don't fucking, you know... Don't fucking come at me if I'm, if I'm incorrect. He's not using the terminology correctly. He's... That's not what lol cow means. It means this very specific thing. And oh, by the way, uh, don't call me a lol cow because I'm trying to correct everybody about that. I just, you know... <laughs> that's what gets me sometimes is the people who laugh at lol cows. Sometimes they are the most like, lol cow kind of guys. I don't know. I don't know if I'm using the term correctly. I'm convinced the guy's fans are robots, like brainwashed slaves. It's funny. They glaze him like no tomorrow. Well, they all think that they have a chance of fucking him, and they probably do. Grooming your audience. Hey, Slime, just asking, but were you aware that Burn Show is attempting to rebrand as a VTuber? Somebody should brand him with Numb. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't aware that he's trying to be a VTuber. Uh... It's fucking crazy. Burned Show is a YouTuber who was banned from YouTube for reacting 
XQC Sniper Wolf reacting to a CP video. You heard that correctly. He was banned for reacting to a CP video. Uh, he set up a ban evasion channel. He had another channel where he set up on, you know, to make that his new main channel. YouTube banned that channel, but then YouTube gave it back to him days later. Said, oh, sorry, apologies, sorry for the misunderstanding. Here's your channel back, Burn Show. I don't know what the fuck's going on. They're giving Plagued Moth back his Twitter, cha you know, Twitter account so that he can go on continue harassing and attacking people and threatening people, doxing people. They're giving Burned Show back his channel, so I guess, I don't know what, can he do a second reaction video to CP? I don't know. These sites really love uh, these fucking dudes. It's crazy. I don't know how you're able to handle so many people attacking you online. Well, here's the thing. It's not that many. Moth doesn't have any fucking pull. He never did. Uh, it's a handful of people uh, who are very dedicated to sucking his dick and it's not that many people to deal with honestly and I'm just going to let the cat in the room hello Jesus Christ yeah meow meow but uh it's not really that many people he doesn't have that much pull he has very little support from his audience really uh, if you look at his videos when he talks about drama where he's begging people for help, even though he did everything to himself and he is making it worse by the day, purposefully. Uh, his entire audience rejects the video and it's like, can you please just post gore? <laughs> there's a couple people, like I said, there's a handful of people that, you know, are down with that, but most people reject that shit. Ton of dislikes, low views, comments that are like, dude, not this again, fuck off. And that's from his own people. I could say your mom gay. <laughs> that is true. You could say that technically. Do 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 do. Whoop! Fuck. Ah. There's a line with gore, and that's from someone who has a collection of f up pictures. I, uh, I'm not going to get on people for having gore. You know, watching gore, whatever. I don't think it's. I wouldn't want to hang out with somebody like that. I wouldn't want to have a conversation about it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to watch it with them. I think I would think that they're probably a little fucked up. No offense. But, uh, you know, that's the thing is Plague Moth tries to paint this thing as, you know, they have a problem with gore. And it's like, no, we have a problem that you're a whore. <laughs> you're a lying scumbag. <laughs> you're, selling sh you're selling other people dying. Different shit like that. Uh, ever since he spoke about his Patreon, I always had a hunch something was screwed about the guy. Yeah. Moth is desperate for money. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I love it. You know, the dude says, uh, in the past, I'm making $10,000 a month. You know, what's it like being poor? Cut to like a year later. Hey, Moth, here's what it's like. Do you feel good about what you said to people? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of poetic justice in a way, I guess. You know, as I said, I'm hoping that somebody steps in that can take care of his family better than he can. I don't know. Maybe Andrea could hook up with one of her old, you know, husbands. Go back to that and be like, you know, well, you know what? That was more stable. Do 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 do. How much you want to bet? Moth grabs this bit right here and tries to spin it as you putting a bounty on his location. Oh, he will. But the thing is, you know, I'm way back in the chat, so this is old stuff now. He c he will do that, but he could make that up anyway, so what's the point? Like, here's the thing. If I say, you know, uh, Moth has a giant zit in the middle of his forehead, and then Moth puts that clip forward and says, here's Slime Beast. You know, Slime Beast lied about me having a zit on my forehead. The thing is, as a liar, as a wanton liar who has lied to his audience and to everybody for fucking years... He could just say that anyway, so I might as well say it. He can still, if I don't say he has a giant zit in the middle of his forehead, he can still go on Twitter and say, Slimey said I have a giant zit on my forehead. Case in point, the fact that he says I called his work when I didn't. He can just make shit up. 
I might as well have called his work. I don't know where he worked. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows where he worked. But I might as well have. Because he is saying I did. So who gives a fuck? Do you see the problem with that moth? Do you see the problem with that game? Meow. Yeah. Who am I talking to? There's nobody here, right? There's nobody here, right, kitty? Who, who could I possibly be talking to? Must be you. I must be talking to you. Yeah. Hi. I right now might be oblivious to the current scenario, though it's perplexing why one would make videos showcasing gore here on YouTube when there are dedicated sites for the same. Exactly. I, nothing more need be said. That's pretty much encaps encapsulates the whole fucking question. I think we just come to the conclusion that he should stop being online and fix himself. Exactly. Do -do 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 -do. I, I do read every single fucking message in the chat. Luckily, my streams are small enough that I can do that. If my streams get to the point where I can't read everything in chat and there's too many people watching, I probably will start a new channel where nobody knows who I am. Apparently this guy is now in an open relationship, right, which means he can go and mess with other people, and there's not anything necessarily wrong with that. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, really, if, you know, consenting people do consenting things. The funny thing is, though, as per Cold Raven, uh, the open relationship seems to go one way. Andrea gets to do what she wants, including, I think... She didn't she get pregnant by somebody while she was married to this guy? I don't know. I think she, <laughs> I think she had kids. I think she had someone else's kids while she was married to Plague Moth. I, I'm not sure. That's what somebody said. But uh, she can do whatever he wants. But according to Cold Raven, she uh, doesn't let him do what he wants. It's kind of kind of a one-way street. I don't know. That's just according to what other people have said. I have no fucking idea. Do 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 Reading, 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 reading all the fucking shit. Yeah. Is there anything that could be done about Burn Show? All you can do listen, Burn Show was reported for ban evasion and they took away his channel, and then they gave him back his channel. So obviously on YouTube nothing fucking matters. Obviously nothing matters to these fuckers. So, I don't know. Reading, reading, reading. Also, it's sad that Plagued tried to take your genuine concern as a threat to make you look dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so who wants to see something fun? Who wants another receipt? Plagued Moth said that I was looking for his family. Here's the DM that I sent him, warning him that someone else was looking for his family. This fucking liar. Heads up, that Liam K. Butler guy has been talking about trying to find where your kids go to school. He contacted people associated with me, who immediately informed me of what he's doing. You're scum. I stand by that. But th that's still way out of line. Proceed accordingly with him. He's Liam K. Butler, Jimmy McMahon, Surma on Discord, and other sock names. And I don't give a fuck about giving out this dude's name because he was, you know, a piece of shit. This Liam K. Butler guy... Some of you may remember <laughs> that Plagued Moth went on a stream and he was trying to find out Lyrics's last name. This is why because he was trying to find out if it was Liam K. Butler, who I warned Moth about. So this piece of shit, this absolute piece of shit, lies and misrepresents that and tries to convince anyone who's brain dead in his audience, tries to convince them that I sent him a threat that I was going to find his children. You can see it on your fucking screen, everybody. Absolutely fucking crazy. What a disgusting fucking person. Plus, you know, putting his own children in danger by doing shit like that. You know, that's the fucking shit that really galls me about this guy. He constantly brings his kids into the fucking discussion. And the only reason I'm talking about them now is because he has brought them in and he has said that people are threatening them and he has said that I am trying to threaten them. 
So the only reason I bring them up is because he has lied. He brings them into the conversation. He puts them at risk. He is bringing his family into everything. Every single fucking problem. He carts his family out like a bunch of human shields and puts them up in front of him. Can't attack me or you'll hit my family. Can't attack me or you'll nick my family. Uh, look at me, I'm dodging around behind my kids. Oh, well, well, you can't get me. Can't get me, you might hit my family. Puts them up like shields in front of him. And by doing that, he exposes them. Nobody would know he had fucking kids unless he said it. How are they going to find out? When's the last time you heard of somebody getting doxxed where people said, uh, here's his address and here's his phone number, and by the way, he has three kids, Mitzi, Billy, and Bitsy. Like, fucking Christ, dude. I'm not saying that's never happened, because, you know, somebody out there probably has been a sick fuck enough to do that. But who would know that he had kids unless he brought it up? Who would fucking know? Who would care? So he puts them out in the fucking mainstream. He puts them out in front of him. He mentions them. He brings them up all the fucking time. And guess what? That Liam K. Butler dude starts looking for them. And fuck Liam K. Butler. I hope he goes to fucking prison. But he wouldn't know to look if Plague Moth hadn't brought it up. What the fuck? A hundred fucking dollars? What the shit? I, why? <laughs> Here's something for having to deal with this disgusting weirdo. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I will consider that part of the uh, legal fund. Now here's what I'm doing with the legal fund. I've given myself uh, a deadline of quote-unquote a couple months and if this person doesn't get off their ass, you know who you are, if this person doesn't get off their ass for the fucking civil suit, I'm gonna donate the uh, money that was donated to me uh, to a related charity. Like, you know, maybe like a family charity or children's charity or some shit like that. Or maybe I'll donate it to, like, uh, a memorial fund if there is one for somebody that uh, Plague Moth reacted to the death of. I don't know. Because this is the thing. I don't want to hold on to the money for fucking ever. Like, fucking Jared the Entertainer or whatever the shit it was. How do I... How do I... How do I... Uh, how do I uh, dismiss this? <laughs> I, I appreciate it very much. Uh, maybe I just click here. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. If you want that back at all, let me know. If you have any regrets or concerns or remorse, please just let me know. DM me anywhere. I very much appreciate it. As I said, I'll consider that part of the legal fund, unless you say otherwise and you don't want it that way. And uh, if this lawsuit thing doesn't get the shit out of its britches and move forward, then uh, I'm going to donate the money to a charity. And I got like 600 plus dollars donated, so I was going to round it up to 700 but now I'll round it up to 800. So there we go. Do, 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 do. Pardon me. Where's any evidence that I threatened anybody, by the way? Like, you remember that video Andrea made saying my life is in danger? Where's any <laughs> evidence of that? Plague Moth has said uh, that I have threatened, threatened them, you know, threatened to hurt them or something like that. Andrea has said that I have weapons stockpiled or some shit like that? Where is any evidence of this? I would like to know what the fuck. <laughs> because it's it's entirely possible somebody... Here's the thing. Somebody impersonated me in his chat. He knows this, everybody knows this. It's been shown, it's been proven, it's, a, it's over. It's a done deal. So somebody could have emailed him from, like, Slime Beast, but, like, the L was a 1 or something. And I would like to know what the fucking evidence is, because let's look over it and let's try to figure out what's going on. Let's debunk that shit. But there is no evidence because he made it up. It's also... Yes, it'll be changed. Blah, blah, blah. I'm speed reading very slowly. <laughs> the definition of a pathetic man, baby. Yeah. He's a squash face. What do you want? Oh, fuck. I should probably... <laughs> here, let me let me drop this in here. Uh, I want to put this under the chat. There we go. Then under the alerts. By the way, sorry I don't have uh, alerts set up for YouTube. I never actually thought I would uh, be streaming on YouTube. So. 
I don't know, the fucking shit set up for it, like the alerts where it goes up on screen, bing, such and such, donate a hundred dollars, shapow, shapow, here's a little animation. But, you know. Give your kitty many pets? Yeah, the cat sleeps on my fucking side when I go to sleep, so they get petted, like, way more than any cat should ever be petted. they just getting petted for five cats. There's nothing wrong with an open, open relationship. Yes, exactly. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ba da da. It's always but whoop. <laughs> Yay! Here we go. Uh. What did I just see? I just saw fucking. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. It's always pathetic to see disgusting creeps like this use the word pedophile as some sort of valid argument against valid criticisms. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. As per the title, let's go over this. Plague Moth doesn't like that creepy reading. That creepy reading must be a pedo. He doesn't like me. Same deal. He doesn't like lazy. Now, Plague Moth is sexist, so he won't call her a pedophile, but he'll call her be boyfriend a pedophile. Falsely. And he has admitted that that's a lie. Doesn't like lyrics. Must be a pedophile. Doesn't like Cold Raven. He's been alleging, implying that Cold Raven is, pe is a pedophile. Now, here's the thing. Plague Moth treads very lightly around Cold Raven because Plague Moth knows Cold Raven will beat the shit out of him. <laughs> in a sanctioned boxing match, okay? But he's been implying that Cold Raven is a pedo. Uh, Turkey Tom, in league with pedos. Lanza, in league with pedophiles. Everybody, everybody who says anything about him, everybody who disagrees with him, is a pedophile. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy that every single person Plague Moth starts problems with is a pedophile. It's crazy! Amazing. Amazing that that turns out that way. Meanwhile, let's look at all of the people on Plague Moth's side. Um, his fans... And... Nobody else who has seen any of the evidence against him. Huh. I guess everybody who can read is a pedophile. <laughs> oh, God. If you want to make a video on him, his new channel is called J.I. Sug. Is that Burn Show? Fucking Christ. Another new channel? I'll look into that and I'll try to get that fucking taken down. You know, you don't fucking, you don't do an XQC Sniper Wolf reaction to CP. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here permanently forever. What's happening now? I wasn't focusing. Everything. I've been trying to keep up with the moth drama, but what has this moth fart done now? He's <laughs> more of the same, plus new shit. Uh, plus, you know, his Twitter account was brought back. And... Let's see. We got a bunch of shit. We got a bunch of stuff here. Like, uh, you remember... You remember when Plague Moth uh, was talking about how he totally totally didn't support uh, a neo-Nazi. <laughs> There's this guy named Varg who's a neo-Nazi and Plague Moth was talking about how he liked Varg's music but he totally doesn't like the guy. He totally didn't support the guy. He doesn't like the guy. He's not interested in the guy. It just happens that he happens to like the sound of the music. Not necessarily the Nazi. Here's him trying to get Varg, the Nazi, to appear on his channel. This is the stuff that comes up when your old Twitter account uh, comes back. <laughs> and we can look back at all your old messages that you thought were gone forever, so you started lying. Varg, you want to come on a podcast sometime for non-contentious chatting? Oh, please, oh, please, Varg. <laughs> and then I guess Varg said no, so he said, well, can't say I didn't try. Thanks for the reply and the music, Varg. Oh, Varg. <laughs> Dude, fucking fucking loved a fucking Nazi. I, you know, like, how much crazier can it get? How much worse can you say about somebody? And it's all fucking proven with receipts. 
my God. Like, I would, you know, it's it's baffling. You know, it's like Godwin's Law in human form. Like, you don't even have to try with this dude. He literally links himself to a fucking Nazi, and it's you don't, you're not even overstating. You're not being outlandish. You're not making up some crazy allegation. You're not stretching anything. The dude literally asks a Nazi to appear in his channel. And is like, oh... Well, thanks for your answer anyway, Mr. Varg. Years later, years later when he's called on, you know, this type of shit, he says, I never liked Varg. Varg is a piece of shit. I never liked that guy. I just happen to like the sound of the music. But you know what? I'm not going to listen to the music anymore because Varg is such a piece of shit that I hate. Well, you were sucking his dick in 2021, motherfucker. God damn. Like, there's not much worse you can say about somebody. And again, all oh, with receipts. Come here, baby. Hey, Bubby. What's going on? What's going on? You gotta stop. I know that it seems like there's nobody here, but I'm talking into this thing on the side of my face. Why is Plague Moth accepting insulin donations? I thought he was a big shot. I <laughs> said... Moth is the epitome of hubris. Moth is the uh, poster child for counting your chickens before they are hatched and grooming the chickens before they're hatched. Moth set up his house of cards on a dead body, and then as that body started to decay and wither away, he got really surprised and could never have expected that his house of cards toppled. When you lie all the time, eventually no one listens. Exactly. Hey, Slime Beast, do you accept fan art? Of course. Uh, you can tweet it at me, at Slime Beast, on Twitter. You could DM it to me on Twitter. You could uh, post it in my Discord. My Discord is linked at toospooky.com, T-O-O, spooky.com. It's in the top right. Looks like a little Discord icon of a ghost. Uh, just DM me wherever you feel like. I don't care. Send me, you know, tweet it at me, whatever. Slimebeast, thoughts on Cold Raven. Okay. Cold Raven is a scary motherfucker. <laughs> Like, here's the thing. Plague Moth exudes the wannabe edgelord shit. He wants you to think he's demonic. <laughs> I might just do any sort of crazy thing. We live in a society, after all. You know? He wants to exude that kind of, I'm batshit insane. I'm dangerous. You never know what I'm going to do next. I'm an edgelord, I'm creepy, I'm satanic. Devil, 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 devil. That's Plague Moth in a nutshell. Not scary, because it's very obviously put on. It's like a, it's like a fucking theater kid who just saw the crow, or, you know, some shit like that. Cold Raven, say what you will, as Moth has. Moth has said some pretty, you know, fucked up shit about Cold Raven. Say what you will about the dude, about his personality or stature or heritage say what you will about all these things that plague moth has seen fit to comment on i'm from new york originally cold raven is the dude who at like 3 a.m you know you run into him at 3 a.m and you act a fool toward him and you say some shit that's out of line or you, you know grab his girl or do something like that Cold Raven is the guy who has a smile on his face the entire time as he pops you and knocks you the fuck out. <laughs> and he continues smiling, and he finishes his order <laughs> at the fucking fast food line or whatever the shit, and says, come on, babe, let's get out of here. And you're just laying on the floor bleeding. <laughs> like, that's a scary motherfucker. And I'm not saying that to, you know, fillet him or anything like that. It's that I've been to New York, I've been, you know, I'm from New York originally. That's the type of dude that pops you in the fucking face. When you deserve it. Plague Moth is the guy who, uh, tries to get you thrown out of the fast food place by calling the manager over and saying, oh, This guy over here, he was, um, uh, he was phobic toward me when you, when you didn't actually say anything. 
Why does Burn Show get a pass? Uh, Burn Show gets a pass, Plague Moth gets a pass, all of these people get passes, it's crazy. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. One day he will bait the wrong person. He's already baited the wrong people. He's baited me, TCR, Lazy Bedhead, Spinling, Cold Raven, Turkey Tom, the <laughs> lyrics. He's, he's baiting a bunch of the wrong people, and the reason that they're the wrong people is that they are not afraid of him. He thinks he can, you know, intimidate people. He thinks he can, you know, say boo and go devil, devil, devil. And everybody goes, <gasps> run. Plague Moth is after us. Nope, fuck you. Fuck off, Plague Moth. All you need is one email address or one profile name and suddenly you have access to almost everything. Possibly. I, I, that's from something I said in the past probably and I'm going through chat very slow. Someone get CPS involved and save his kids at this point. I shy away from that sort of thing because we don't know... Here's the thing, okay? We don't know how much of Plague Moth and Plague Goddess's bullshit is internet tough guy stuff. Quote unquote internet tough guy stuff. It's possible for you to be a total unhinged psychopath in one aspect of your life and be completely normal in another aspect of your life. So for all we know, his kids have the best fucking life. It's not likely since they're getting thrown out of their fucking house, but for all we know, his family has the best fucking life in real life. His pets love him. His pets are well taken care of. His kids love him. His kids are well taken care of. We have no fucking idea. The BTK killer. Nobody fucking suspected that was him. Nobody knew that was him. He was some suburban motherfucker living a normal fucking life, doing everything normally. Being as normal as normal gets. And it just so happened that sometimes he, you know, murdered the shit out of women. I, you know what? Uh, everybody's got their little faults, you know? So, Plague Moth may be and Plagued Goddess may be unhinged and stupid and fucking awful entirely online. Do I think that somebody should probably check and make sure? Yeah. Somebody probably should check and make sure. I don't necessarily know about CPS, but some, you know, some official person, and I'm sure maybe this probably has happened in the past, you know, maybe they've had somebody check in and they were fine because something at school or, you know, some shit like that. Who knows? I don't know. You know, people have stuff happen all the time where, like, a teacher will be like, I don't know, I think something strange is going on in that house. And then somebody gets called or blah, blah, blah. So who knows what the fuck has happened. But get out of here, kitty. I do think it's worth checking into just because of the fact that he laughs at children dying. You know, when, when you get to that point, it's worth at least taking a peek from some official who is actually, you know, supposed to be doing that. I would like to, you know, I would like to think that everything is fine. Other than the fact they're being thrown out of the fucking house. Looking at the chat, motherfuckers. Boop, boop, boop. Reading chat. One hundred dollars. Fucking. Oh. <laughs> this is something I run into from time to time. The uh, chat scrolls down more than I want it to. At least, hey, at least you create. Oh, that's to. Uh, yeah, we're having a conversation about profile pictures in the chat, which is totally fine. I just, you know, misread that as to me. He's browsing by top chat, not live chat. Oh fuck. All right. I'm going to switch that as soon as I get to the bottom here. <laughs> I forgot it was on top chat. <laughs> creepy reading is a deer. That creepy reading... <sighs> that creepy reading is the epitome of a dude who... Uh, unwittingly steps in shit. <laughs> like... Somebody who's, he's the dude who's going along and is like, do 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 out for a walk, out for a day in the park, do 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 and he's looking up, whistling at the birds, singing a song, and then he steps in a manhole and fucking falls in the sewer. <laughs> like, 
Like, you know, sometimes creepy reading will say or do something, and I'm like, that's going to be so taken out of context. I know what you mean. Everybody knows what you mean, but that's still... <laughs> Moss is still going to fucking use that. Oh, God. Reading chat. The only YouTuber I've seen so far who defended Plague Moth is Mr. Sen. Mr. Sen, uh, is full of shit. Mr. Sen is a bitch. Mr. Sen doesn't like Plague Moth. Mr. Sen strictly, strictly saw him as a way to try to get at his, uh, wannabe boyfriend lyrics. Like, Mr. Sen, Mr. Sen should change his name to Mr. Sundari or whatever the fuck it is, because that dude is obsessed with fucking lyrics. I know personally from talking to Mr. Sen, who is a piece of shit, by the way, and doesn't fucking listen to anything because he thinks he knows everything already. Um, I know from talking to Mr. Sen that he does not like Plague Moth. He strictly was using Plague Moth to try to get at lyrics. It's that shit of the enemy of my enemy is my friend, except incredibly disgusting. <laughs> Did a video just come out on him by someone big? I just clicked on and checked his content and realized the dislikes are super high now. Uh, yeah, there was a, there's some dude named Lanza who I've been told... <sighs> every single person... <laughs> every single person on YouTube has their problems, I guess. And I've been told that Lanza dude is not a great guy. I, you know, I'm just going on what I've been told. But, uh... Yeah, there's a YouTuber named Lanza who did a very big, you know, lot of views, ton of views. I think it's, like, one of his most viewed videos on his channel now about Plague Moth. That's the funny thing, too, is Plague Moth will say, uh, Lanza, lyrics, that creepy reading, lazy bedhead, spindling. You know, all these people are in a cabal together. They're great best friends who are secretly colluding in a conspiracy. And it's like, I just, I see a video come out. And I'm like, who's Lanza? And then someone tells me, a piece of shit. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> lyrics, you know, does something. And I say, who's Lyrics? And someone else goes, a piece of shit. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but somehow we're all fucking in it together. Turkey Tom. That's a really funny one. Because I was in Turkey Tom's chat calling him a coward for not debating the fucking thing with Plague Moth. Like, I directly said that he was a coward. And... These fucking idiots, you know, Dylan and Andrea will say, you know, Turkey Tom, who's in this, you know, cabal with these people, and I'm like, I don't... I, ha have you seen anything at all? Have you watched anything? Did you see me on Lyrics' stream making... <laughs> insulting him? <laughs> like... And, you know, it's all well and good, because not everybody has to like each other, and people can have disagreements, and it's not... You know, it's very childish to think that if you disagree with somebody, you can never talk to them or, you know, work with them on anything. You have to fully agree. That's like Twitter logic, and that's Plague Moth logic, is that uh, if you're talking to somebody or appearing on their stream, you're best friends. Oh. I guess he wouldn't know, because he doesn't have any fucking people to appear with, so. That's sad if you think about it. He doesn't have anybody he can work with, so he thinks he has no friends, I bet. He, he brings up this shit where he's like, I talked to Mudahar. He claims that he talked to Mudahar, who is on his side, by the way. Like he said, Mudahar told him, I have nothing to say about you that's bad. So he, he th claims to be in like these groups where he's like talking with other YouTubers, and he'll say, you guys don't know, I'm in chats, group chats with lots of YouTubers. I've talked to Nightmind. Guess what, Plague Moth? I talked to Nightmind too. He said that you're fucking... St that you tried to fucking bother him with some shit and he told you to fuck off, essentially. I, you know, I'm paraphrasing. But he told you to fucking leave him alone. <laughs> I... What these people don't realize is that I talked to Nightmind. I talked to Mr. Creepypasta. I talked to all these people. Yeah, and any of them that I talked to say that they didn't, you know, want to talk to you. Just go fuck yourself. Anyway... I'm I'm getting off topic now. Hey slime, fan of your videos. I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I can make videos about something else. Plague Moth will say, 
Slime Beast's entire channel is about me. While he's doing a two-hour fucking stream, somebody brought up he was doing a two-hour stream where he talked about nothing but me. Isn't that fucking? Isn't that fucking crazy? And then he was like, "Oh no, no, I haven't." And you know, Slime Beast's entire channel is about me and blah 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 blah. Slime Beast's channel is about things that Slime Beast finds funny or disgusting, and you, my friend, are funny and disgusting. Funny videos. Be a good weekend. Thank you. It was funny seeing people in this chat, by the way. It's funny seeing people in this chat, because every so often, somebody will say, Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do they keep messing with you, Moth? <laughs> and you know that somebody who's waking up, that's somebody who's realizing he's full of shit, but they don't want to get banned. So they're putting it forward like, Moth, do you have any evidence or explanations of anything? You're like, gosh, Moth. <clears throat> Why is it that everyone is against you? <laughs> it's fucking funny. Reading, reading. Ironic that he likes Varg. The band that Varg used to be in had some equally screwed up members that Plague Moth would totally suck off for clout. Yeah. I don't doubt it. You know, it's fucking crazy. I never liked Varg. I never knew he was a racist. I never knew any of this. Bitch, you invited him to be on a podcast on your show. Or on your fucking channel. Happy Halloween, says Game Over Jesse. Hello, Game Over Jesse. My god, you have a check mark. You must be important. Hello. <laughs> oh, game over, Jesse. Get out of here, quick. Get out of here, quick. Plague Moth is going to say you're in a secret pedophile cabal now. Get out. Quick, run. You're a content creator and you're here? Oh, shit, you're in a secret cabal that's trying to destroy him. Run. His current online contact is going to, I assume him. I assume that's supposed to be going to. It's going to stop him from getting a job in the future, yeah. So before I mention... So here's the thing. Plague Moth couldn't get a job for a while, because I assume because he was on the run from a warrant. Now, he actually was on the run from a warrant, that's not what I'm assuming. I'm assuming that that was why he couldn't get a job, because he couldn't be on record anywhere. Uh, he had a warrant in Florida for grand theft, and I think earlier in 2023, or mid-2023, uh, that warrant expired, so he successfully evaded the warrant for grand theft. Like, the statute of limitations probably ran out. So I assume he couldn't work for that time. Yep. See, this is the thing. I've long been against companies being able to look up your social media presence. I've been like, that's not fair. You know, that you apply for a job and then they look up who you are online and see what your posts are. That seems like an invasion of privacy. But then you get somebody like this and I'm like, no... McDonald's should probably have the right to know that they're empl um, employing somebody who uh, looks at children getting, you know, killed. And likes to, you know, get off to that. By his own words. <sighs> Thanks for answering my question. No problem. I'm here to answer. Alright. Fuck. There's more. <laughs> there's more. Shit. Hey, what's going on? I just heard things between you and Moth. Uh, Moth is a piece of shit. There we go. <laughs> I have like 150 videos about him, which he hates, which just makes me make more. Here's a little secret. If you tell me not to make videos, I'll make another video. It's just, it's just how it goes. If you tell me to stop answering uh, your fucking posts on Twitter, I'll, I'll answer another one. If Epstein was drunk when he made... What if Epstein was drunk? Yeah, I mean, that's Plague Moth's response, is whenever Plague Moth is caught doing something, he says he was drunk. So, I mean, I guess that applies for everybody. Epstein should have said he was drunk. He probably wouldn't have been murdered. It's, it, Epstein is a funny thing. Epstein is funny, because you're glad he m got murdered, but also you want to see him, you know, possibly give evidence on other people. So it's a tough thing. Do you want him dead, or do you not? Do you want other people, you know, to get testified against, or do you just want that motherfucker in hell? It's a tough case. It's a tough, uh, tough thing to decide. How many chicken nuggets is too many chicken nuggets? Just one. 
Hashtag PETA. <laughs> One is too many. It's manhole accusing TCR of being a PDF, PDF file as he falls. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the manhole. That's what Moth is. He's just a walking manhole. That just, you know, people keep stepping into. There, communication. Yes. Yep. You know what's really fucking weird? Here's something really weird, chat. Plagued Moth did a live stream where he showed his YouTube front page. On Plagued Moth's YouTube front page was a bunch of shit that you would expect to be recommended to him, right? This is his official account. This is his Plagued Moth account, which he uses to make gore content and watch gore content, okay? In his subscriptions on the side of the page, in his subscriptions was Peppa Pig. Now, that may sound funny. That may sound like I'm going to tell some joke here. I'm not going to tell a joke here because it's not funny. That means that his kid watches YouTube on his official channel. Like, on his account. And when I say his kid, I mean kids, you know, whoever. This dude has at least one of his kids sitting at his computer on his Plagued Moth account where he uploads and posts gore content. And that kid is watching Peppa Pig on his fucking account. Slight risk, don't you think? Slightly risky behavior? Possibly? Now, he'll probably say, I, bro, I subscribed to Peppa Pig as a shitpost. It was a joke when I was drunk. No, it isn't. You have your kids watching YouTube on your fucking channel. Fucking Christ. Uh, buh, 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 reading, 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 reading. I, I remembered that because you said video and recommendations. Uh, yeah, watch any video you want on Plague Moth. I, I encourage people to watch Plague Moth's videos about other people and then watch the videos replying to him. You know, don't just settle for one side. That's what Plague Moth wants. Plague Moth tells people, you don't need to go watch that video. I didn't watch that video. I don't know what these people are saying about me. Go watch everything, guys. I encourage you to check out everything, because when you come out the other end of it, you'll see he's a piece of shit. boo do 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 <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's... I don't know what that means, but it reads funny. Plague Moth is going the Mama Max route. Hey! Guys. Do you remember... Uh, when Mama Max... Tried to cancel, quote-unquote, Charlie. <coughs> you know, Moist Critical. Do you remember that? Let me just see what I got here. Let me see what I got here. Do 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 do. This is gonna take a bit because I gotta go actually get it from my uh, Twitter account. This is not something I have saved on my fucking desktop. Sometimes I'll you know post things up on Twitter and I'll just copy and paste it directly to the tweet, and not even have a fucking copy. But let's see right here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And here we go. Copy image. Can I paste this directly in here? No. Alright, I gotta save it and drag it in. But yeah, one of the things that Mama Max did that fucked him over, Mama Max made a video where he was trying to call out uh, Charlie, Moist Critical, Penguins Zero, for not covering a story that Mama Max wanted him to cover. Mama Max was like, you better just fucking cover this story I'm talking about, Charlie, or I'm gonna fucking cancel you. <clears throat> Here's Plague Moth on August 24th, 2022. Ah, so you're hyper you're a hyper fixated child who's upset I called out some YouTubers? You missed the point. I called out Charlie for ignoring serious issues that he could use his platform to address. Not ignoring a video suggestion, you dumb fuck. Instead, he chooses a safer paycheck. Holy fuck. 
exactly what Mama Max did. Mama Max did this like about a year later. You know, give or take some change. This dude literally is Mama Max Jr. I called out Charlie for ignoring issues he could use his platform to address, but instead he chooses safer paycheck. It's exactly the same fucking thing that Mama Max was saying. Let's wiggle it around. Look at that. Look at that shit. I'm rubbing it in your face, Moth. I'm so glad that his fucking Twitter account got unsuspended. Holy shit, dude. A lot of fucking real gems in there. Let's remove that. Oh, God, the receipts. The fucking receipts. Do 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 do. Bow, bow, bow. Motherfucker. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, there we go. It must be hard being Nightmind. So much horror media is bad right now. Oh, boy. I have nothing good to say about Nightmind. I know that a lot of people like him and like his content and stuff like that. You know, I have my own issues with him. He did, like, un unmarked sponsored content. He was trying to get me and someone else uh, tacitly involved in his unpa unmarked paid promotion of things. It just was crazy. This was way back in the day, like, years ago. He had some things where he was getting paid <clears throat> to say that certain shows were good, but he wasn't telling anybody he was getting paid. And then there's a bunch of shit where he was, like, sexting people in his Discord and stuff like that, and calling them kids, and it's just a bunch of strange shit. I'm not saying he's a pedophile or groomer or anything like that. It just was creepy, and it just was fucking weird. I'm not, you know, I'm not touching that shit. Not no more. Mr. Creepypasta wouldn't touch the guy with a 50-foot pole. Yeah, Mr. Creepypasta and Creeps of Pasta, two people who are on recording from 2013 and podcasts that are still up to this day. Podcasts that were updated or uploaded in 2013. Still up that you can listen to now. Mr. Creepypasta and Creeps of Pasta having sexual conversations with a 14-year-old fucking girl. 14-year-old girl. And they're having sexual conversations with her. Two other girls in the call that are like 16. Still up on YouTube. Still up from 2013. Anybody can go look that fucking shit up. Maybe I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, document about this shit in the fucking comments. Once this is over. <clears throat> Mama Moth can go down the Plague Max route. <laughs> yeah. Meow. Egg Moth, yeah. He's a squash. He's a big ol' eggplant. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <clears throat> Was there new moth tea that happened today? Uh, he went on the live stream and he was basically quadrupling down on all of his lies and e-begging his audience yet again to try to get money from people uh, by Sag farming or whatever the fuck they call it. Greetings, fellow kids. Making a lot of things. Uh, Plague Moth, in his stream tonight, he said that I called his workplace and got him fired. I don't think anybody knows where he worked. I don't even know if he actually had a job or if he's just making it up totally to try to get more, you know, e-begging points. I would like to see any evidence whatsoever. You know, uh, show us a text, show us an email, show us a message from your boss. Show us a recording of something happening, a conversation with your boss. Show us a phone number that called. Show us something. Instead, as usual, we get nothing. And when people ask for something... You get just the same old shit of, I'll show you, I'll show, I have so much to show you. Give me a second here, I'm going to pull it up. Oh, I don't have the files named. Wait, what is this? Hey guys, everybody, here's another thing, a different thing to take your mind off it. Look at this photo of a, of a 3D clown throwing a pie. Look at that, isn't that funny? Like, you know, it's just some random fucking bullshit. Hey guys, I, I have the evidence right here. Boy, I, oh fuck. Looking at my phone. Ah. I wish, you know, I don't have these fucking things named. I don't have these files named. Give me one second. I have everything here. I have all the evidence here. Just give me a second. God, where is it? God, uh, where is it? Uh, you know, I'd really like to go to Hawaii someday. Has anybody in chat been to Hawaii? Change of topic. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Dude sucks so hard. It's fucking pathetic. Ugh. Anyway, 
That one time Moth said he accidentally saw a part of DD. How did he know it was DD after but not before he started viewing? If he knew before, then it wasn't accidental. Okay. Plague Moth said in one of his most recent things, he's given a lot of different answers about this. He's lied a lot about this fucking CP video. Which makes you wonder. But, uh, his latest thing that he says is, uh, he was looking at what was, you know, described as being in the video, and so he stopped it or something. Like, you know, I, I didn't see anything bad at all. I just saw people commenting, you know, what was in it, so I stopped the video and didn't, you know, I stopped it right there. And it's like, bitch, those comments were there before you started playing it. <laughs> like, like, if people were saying what's in the video, that was written there before you started playing the video. Like, what the fuck, dude? Give me a fucking break. Make up a make up a twenty seventh story about how you saw it, fucking idiot. And I, I get a little angry about that, obviously, because of the fucking subject matter, and this piece of shit, fucking not only lying about it so many fucking times, but fucking advertising the goddamn CP video. He has made so many videos advertising that video. In this video, I'll be debunking the myths around the CP video. In this video, I'll be doing an iceberg about the worst things, and there's the CP video. In this video, I'll be talking about Peter Scully, the guy who made the worst CP... Stop fucking promoting it, you stupid dill hole. The f What the absolute fuck? Can you fucking imagine? Can you fucking imagine... Any scenario where you, listening to this right now, you, the actual singular person listening right now, can you imagine a scenario where you would spread information about this fucking video? Unfortunately, we're all there now because Plague Moth has done it. <sighs> you should make a video of every time Plague Moth contradicts himself. That's okay. That's okay. That would be a 10-hour video. <laughs> It wouldn't be an hour long. That would be ten hours long. <laughs> oh my god, I can't imagine the work that would go into that shit. You know, Moth thinks that people are living for him. The truth is, everybody is going about their lives except for him. And then every so often we comment on the stupid shit he does. Like, even me. You know, I'll post up like a ton of shit he says. But that's like one night where I say, you know what? I don't want to work right now. Something good I can do to procrastinate is just fucking shit on this guy. Anyway. Uh, reading. Reading. Moth pulling a Max now. Yeah, Moth is, Moth is Max Jr. I said this in another stream, but if you take Mama Max and you throw some goofy juice on him, you get Plague Moth. It goes down the line, you know. If you take Wendigoon and throw some goofy juice on him, you get Mama Max. If you take Mama Max and throw some goofy juice on him, you go a step down and you get Plague Moth. <laughs> if you t take Plague Moth and you throw some goofy juice on him, you get a step worse, you get Burn Show. <laughs> Goes down the line. Uh, in other words, it's like a nesting doll of stupidity with, you know, that's nothing against Wendigoon at the top. Wendigoon being the probably normal person, question mark? I don't know him. But then you take a normal person and you make him abnormal slowly over time, you eventually go down the ranks. Reading, reading. Reading, reading. Reading all the shit. What's your cat's name? Ella. E-L-L-A. When the cat was born, uh, she looked like her mother. Every other cat, every other kitten didn't look like the mother. But Ella looked exactly like her mother. So I called her Little Mother, and eventually LM for short, and LM became Ella. It's fucking corny and cringe. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you if you don't like it. Not the person that asked the question. I'm talking to a theoretical person that doesn't like it. <laughs> I just love listening to their audio quotes. Because, yes. I 
think that is from the uh, that's from a different topic. Manhunt, possibly. Boom, 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 boom. Mr. M Fuck. Mr. Medicker, if he was a creepy creepypasta People compare me to Mr. Medicker. I don't really know that much about him. I just remember him back from the Gamergate days. And I remember a lot of people in the Gamergate YouTube stuff being like, you know, I disagree with these things, and I disagree with that these things. And this fat, ugly bitch, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, now you just lost everybody. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't remember if Medicare was one of those, but it's like, you know, I remember people would be like, there should be an even playing field in, you know, in the gaming journalism, and I'm like, all right. People shouldn't give out good reviews to people they're having sex with. And I'm like, okay. And then people would be like, and this fat bitch, and I'm like, well, okay, now you just, good work, everybody's leaving. Everybody has everybody has left the cause that you were trying to put together. Th th thank you, thank you, goodbye. And that, as I said, I don't remember if Me Medicare was one of those or not. I, you know, I'm just saying. In general, that's what I remember him from is that era. And that's one of the things that bothers me about like lyrics and Turkey Tom and people like that. And I'll say it because you know Plague Moth likes to pretend that everybody's in a cabal against him. The truth is. <sighs> Lyrics is good at getting shit out of people, but Lyrics needs to drop a lot of the shit he says. Because <laughs> he's just going to drive people away and he eventually is going to get himself removed from the platform. If he wants to do any kind of actual good or do anything important or do anything, you know, uh, that actually takes out bad people or helps good people or whatever, you know, these sorts of commentary YouTubers have to realize, oh, yeah, you can keep your edge, you can keep, you know, the things you want to say, and people can cry about it and cope, but also don't be crying about it, don't be coping when you get fucking banned, because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. You have to have some common sense, you know? Put that mask on, crazy glue that mask on, don't let it slip. <sighs> And that all goes back to the thing I, you know, you don't have to agree, agree with and like everybody that you talk to or work with. You just have to have a line where you say, okay, well, this person's an actual Nazi, so I'm not going to give this person the time of day. But somebody, you know, is like, oh, I don't agree with them on this opinion. It's like, well, we'll forgive that for now and we'll just move forward and then we don't have to ever talk to each other again. The game, the game, the game, the game, yes. Manhunt. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that... See, this is the thing. Somebody says there's so, so very much... Wait. There's somewhat very much more shit about uh, CP, pr the CP problem that doesn't involve Peter Scully that he could be talking about if he was really educational in his motivations. That's the thing. He's just trying to use Peter Scully and DD as, like, clickbait, which is fucking sick as shit. Because, as you say, there's so many other things he could probably talk about. I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure there are other things out there that he could talk about. And uh, he just wants that name recognition. He just wants those clicks for people looking for DD. Because here's the thing. Plague Moth, he gets a lot of his traffic off of people who are looking for the videos he's talking about. He's getting traffic from people who go to the Google, the Google, go to the YouTube search bar. He's getting traffic from people who go to the YouTube search bar and type in the name of a CP video. Because they're looking for the CP video. And he knows that. And that's where the traffic is. Ah, everybody. Here's an untapped market. Everybody who's looking for that video will come to my video instead. Ugh. Yuck. Actually fucking foul. Plague Moss always gave up some weird vibes. Yeah, I mean... Of all the people to give off weird vibes, he's like the poster child for weird vibes. Like, the guy looks like a weird vibe in a shirt. <laughs> the guy is a weird vibe in a maid costume. He's a living vibe that is weird. Still shocked about Burn Show on YouTube, yeah. YouTube fucking sucks, dude. Just for that. 
even if you have no other problems with YouTube, they suck for that. Just alone. They fucking suck for that one fucking thing. By the way, if there's anybody who's hate-watching that's a Plague Moth fan, ask a question. I'll show you fucking evidence, dude. I'll show you fucking receipts. When will Plague Moth write a fanfic of him meeting Scully? Ugh. God. I wouldn't doubt it. One of his fans will do it, I'm sure. Similar sounding voice to Mr. Medicker. Hey, everybody, Mr. Medicker. I don't know, he has sent... Mr. Medicker, from what I remember, had like a smug kind of thing, which is not to say anything other than the fact that that's how he sounded. Hey, everybody! So guess what happened in Gamergate today? Yeah, that's right. Anita Sarkeesian stubbed her toe. Ha ha ha. Fat bitch. That's, <laughs> that's like... <laughs> That's what I think of all the fucking <laughs> commentary at the time. That's my, you know, uh, my blanket brush I paint everybody with unfairly. Do -do 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 -do. Lyrics, I think, was doing well at first, but the more I watch him, the more it feels like he's forcing himself to be edgy and whatnot. And that in itself is cringe. Lyrics, okay. <clears throat> lyrics needed, I think Lyrics needed a couple more years before uh, doing what he's doing now. <laughs> because he's good at certain things, but then there's other things where you're like, dude, you're fucking torpedoing yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, he. Need, I think he needed a little bit of time to chill and be like, you know, I don't need to always make the joke. I don't need to always say the thing. I can sort of hold back, be a little chill. But he'll learn that eventually, I guess, probably. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll be uh, incredibly successful and nothing bad will ever happen. I just, you know, he's opening himself up to a lot of shit. Opening himself up to a lot of fucking, you know, butthurt reports and, you know, things like that. Entirely based on what he, you know, says and shit. Which, you know, again, clutching pearls, moral grandstanding? No, it's about having a fucking brain. <laughs> and realizing how the world works. Yeah. 2014 Edge Boy. Anyway. But that's the thing, you know, is everybody, you know, everybody involved in talking about Plague Moth, we're all very disparate, different, uh, separate people. And the only people who have come together about this have come together... Uh, because of him, and been like, hey, you're against Plague Moth, I'm against Plague Moth, let's, let's talk about it. Do you have any information you want to share? I'll share some information with you. So he is bringing people together and then saying, all these people are in a cabal against me. And they're all pedos. Every single person I don't like is a pedophile. Well, Plague Moth, are you a pedo? Because you've done pretty much everything you've accused others of doing. Well, no. That's all out of context and made up and I was drunk. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Uh, Moth is still not age-restricted his videos. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can find another post, another receipt from Plagued Moth. Here we go. I have to save this to my fucking computer. I gotta stop just pasting things into Twitter and then calling it a day. Because then I have to, you know, I get <coughs> stuck in situations like this where I have to go back and look it up on Twitter to fucking do it. Alright, so here's what Plague Moth thinks about age-restricting videos. Plague Moth fucking hates age restriction. He hates age restri restriction. He wants his videos to just be available for everybody, like kids and everybody. He refuses to age restrict. And when his videos get automatically age restricted, his opinion is fuck age restrictions. God fucking damn it. They hit me with a restriction. They restricted who could see my video. They don't want children viewing the fucking video I made. Fuck! Oh! Oh! My child audience! <laughs> this is the dude who claims that others have child audiences. Moth, if you're worried about other people having child audiences, why is it that you care if your videos are restricted? Moth, if you don't want a child audience, you should restrict your videos. 
you literally are trying to get a child audience by not restricting. The fuck, dude? Christ. Uh, reading. Oh. Alright, spooky girl. Uh, I want to preface from the beginning. Not that this won't be cut out by Plague Moth. Plague Moth will cut this out. But I want to preface from the beginning. Uh, spooky girl, it's not that I don't trust you. But I am fully aware that this could be bait. <laughs> um, spooky girl, I would say uh, if you can put together a Google Doc or something similar uh, with any kind of evidence <coughs> you have, like messages, don't put any fucking nudes in there. You know, obviously you know that, but I'm just saying that from the get go. If you have any evidence of messages with them or anything covering that, please put that together. People will look at it. That said, give me one second, I'll come back to this, but I gotta go take care of something. I'll be right back. Anonymous gifted three months of sub to the Gregging. Thank you, Anonymous, whoever you, whomst ever you are. Whomst ever you are. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Somebody, uh, I had a window open on Twitch, and <laughs> somebody raided another streamer. So they did a raid, and so the next stream started playing, and I had to try to figure out what the fuck was about to start playing. I have, like, you know, three browsers open, and, like, three tabs each, <laughs> each browser open. Totally forgot I had Twitch open. Uh, boop, 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 boop. That's why you heard somebody just donated. Blah blah blah. I don't. I don't know who that was. Somebody who got raided. All right, spooky girl. That's what we were talking about. Uh, if you have, uh, I'm big on receipts. I know that not everybody saves everything. A lot of people get caught out where something, you know, authentically did happen, but they don't have the evidence, which fucking sucks, and I hate that shit. But hopefully you have something where you can provide that, because that is... <sighs> people think grooming only applies to children. <laughs> Literally, if you're using your power dynamic uh, over fans to get, you know, things out of them and use them and just drop them, that is literally fucking grooming in my mind. So I'm sorry that that happened. <clears throat> I'm sorry that that happened to you. And it's not a good, not a good thing that my stream is breaking down right as we get to this actual important thing. But yeah, make a document. Don't make a 27-page document because nobody will read it. Unfortunately, people are you know. Assume that everybody is a is a zoomer with ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> get the bullet points out there, get the evidence out there, you know, put some shit together. If you don't want to make a document, just, you know, put the evidence out on, like, Twitter or something. Use, like, a burner account, use whatever you want, I don't know. But, you know, get it out there, uh, contact some people, contact me, you know, at me, whatever. Uh, other people who are involved with this sort of thing. And, you know, that's the thing is, you know, people are looking at this stuff, people are willing to listen. And here's the funny thing. Plagued Moth did a stream where he was like, I want s victims of Slime Beast to come forward. <laughs> and there was nobody to come forward, <laughs> because there were none. And yet here we are. 
Anyway, uh, I'll admit I used to be subscribed to Plague Moth. I thought it was interesting learning about these topics and videos in the beginning, but once I heard everything come out, I had to unsubscribe. Well, luckily there are other people doing what he does, just not as badly as he does it. Like, you know, luckily there are channels that go over the same topics. Not as shittily. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I think the stream is kind of winding down. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. I was drunk is the most guilty admission ever because I don't know if people understand, but being drunk isn't an excuse to be creepy to minors. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking stupid. I was drunk. <laughs> And shitposting. Oh, okay. Alright, then you didn't groom a 13-year-old. Okay. Him by himself was very lively, very friendly, and very complimentary. Then he insisted we chat with his wife involved, and he got quiet. Uh, oh, fuck. So this is the thing. I have been around people in the past where... Uh somebody will almost put out like a bait person if that makes sense um I it's very difficult to you know talk about situations like this because you don't want to come off as saying the wrong thing about somebody who was involved in the situation like I don't want to say anything that you know makes you sound a certain way or says anything about you even if I don't intend it to be that way I don't want it to sound that way so, a lot of times people will put out a bait person. And, you know, I've experienced this myself where somebody will say, uh, this is like way long ago, this is like 2000s, late 90s, <laughs> like, like way long ago. Uh, somebody will put out a bait person who's like, I'm, hey, I'm someone who's moderately attractive, I'm someone who's put together, I'm someone who's nice and can talk a good game. Why don't we hook up? And by the way, here's this awful person that I'm with, and that awful person is now going to take over. <laughs> so it's like, get it? It's like bait and switch, you know? Classic bait and switch, getting hooked by one person, and then the other person comes in and takes over, and you're like, don't want to talk to that person. <laughs> but yeah. Why doesn't YouTube want kids watching my video about kids getting murdered? Plague Moth 2024, exactly. They don't seem to be auto-restricting. Well, YouTube doesn't auto-restrict, I don't think, unless people, like, report it and shit. And he's had uh, his videos reported and they've been restricted by YouTube, you know, following up on reports of inappropriate content, so... Plague Moth is literally exploiting the morbid curiosity of children. Plague Moth, in one of his old podcasts, which I put up some clips of this, but uh, in one of his old patron-only podcasts, uh, he was talking about how when he was a teenager, he sat down with his teenage cousin, and the two of them looked up beheading videos, and the two of them looked up, you know, accidental, you know, death videos and things like that. And so that's where this comes from. He was a he was a kid who looked up gore. And so, like a lot of people, unfortunately, he is furthering the damage. He's furthering the harm to other kids. Which sucks. I can confirm I was 15 when I watched him. I don't doubt it. Just be glad you didn't talk to him. <laughs> didn't realize this was a stream. <laughs> yeah, it's a stream. Hello? No, this is pre-recorded. Hello, Maria Kim. This is pre-recorded. I know that you're going to be in the chat, and I know what you will say. Do, 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 do. Disturbin' and Disturbed Reality. By the way, every time I see Disturbin', I think it reads like Dustbin to me. Which is not any comment on him, it's just as funny. I always have to go Dustbin. Oh, Disturbin', yeah. <laughs> Alright, well... Yeah, Plague Moth sucks. Um, is there anything I want to show you guys before we go? Let's see what we want to put up on the screen to laugh at. Do, 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 do. 
All right. Here is Plague Moth in one tweet at the top. Plague Moth says, The DD thing makes me fucking sick to keep explaining. Oh, it makes him sick to keep explaining DD. <laughs> makes him sick. Tweet at the bottom. I have a video on debunking the myths around DD dropping soon. Haha, <laughs> I have a video about DD being, you know, dropping soon, being debunked. All the myths. Ha 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 Watch my video about DD. A couple days later, it makes me sick having to talk about... You fucking love it. You love talking about it. You love the fucking horror and just depravity and grossness of it. Fucking Jesus, dude. If you didn't love it, you wouldn't make that your career. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Here's fucking another old tweet of Plague Moth talking about the neo-Nazi. Looking for some Vard roleplay text now. Stabs you in nuzzles. Yeah, Varg sure made him sick, dude. Sure fucking hates Varg. Terrible person, that Varg. So terrible in Moth's mind that he wanted to look like him. My wife did my get veto ghetto Varg braids. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just putting up random shit now. It's funny. What do we got here? What's this one? No, it's uh, the age restriction one again. All right. Well, don't forget to get the... I guess I'll, p I'll put this on the screen. Don't forget to get the Plague Moth t-shirt. <coughs> in my merch store. Uh, the merch should be linked somewhere. I don't fucking know. Uh, you can get the Not All Moths t-shirt. It's a t-shirt celebrating the downfall of Plague Moth. Why? I don't know. I'm a shit. But yeah, I'm just dropping shit into the fucking uh, thing now. What else do I got here? I have a screenshot named Oof. What's Oof? Oh yeah, this is just... <laughs> this is the thing of me getting my Twitter account back. <laughs> it just says... <laughs> it appears we made an error. There was no violation. <laughs> Nice to know. Nice to know that uh, I got, you know, batted down by an AI on Twitter and my account locked for no reason. But yeah. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Well, I'm going to get off here in a second, just reading through the last bit of chat here. If the issue with sh showing gore to children is that children can easily get addicted and can manifest a gore addiction, which is a very scary thought for future generations. I just think that, you know, like most things in life, children should be... Uh, protected from certain things until they are old enough to make it the actual decision for themselves. I just don't think that someone like Plague Moth should be making the decision for them and forcing gore on them. Because that's what you do when you make it so gore can accidentally show up in their recommendations or their searches. Like if a kid you know, is like, I heard this song Funky Town and it sounded really cool. Won't you take me to Funky Town? That is a cool song. I will look that up now. And then your video comes up. Fuck you, you just fucking shoved it in their face. Because you didn't fucking age restrict it. fact that Moth is so open about some of... And, you know, moral grandstanding, pearl clutching, who gives a fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> the fact that Moth is so open about some of the crazy stuff he's done shows how warped he is at this point, yeah. It's a felony in most states to show pornography to a minor. I wonder if they're similar for gore. Probably not. I doubt it very much. <laughs> Snow White. Snow White is here. Time to end the stream. No, I was ac actually going to end it anyway. It's using the claim to watching it to make videos on the subject to further attraction and views. I don't fucking know. He's a fucking weirdo. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Here. <laughs> this is funny. Varg wants nothing to do with Plague Moth. Plague... Okay. People who are united against Plague Moth in his mind. Turkey Tom, Lyrics, Lanza, TCR, Spindling, Me, Lazy Bedhead, other people I'm forgetting. People who like Plague Moth. Nobody. In fact, 
Not even Varg. <laughs> Not even the Nazi. Holy shit, dude. <sighs> but yeah, anyway. Not all moth sticker? I'll, I can try. I don't know how much. It might be too costly. You know, the thing with stickers and shit like that is they the prices are so fucked up. Like, everybody's got to get their cut, you know? And then you're like, it's just a fucking sticker. I don't want to pay $10 for that, you know? Anyway. All right. Well, I don't know. Is there anything else that anybody else wants to see? Like, uh, any kind of fucking, uh, let's put this. Hello? Let's put this right down here. There's another little guy. We'll put uh, this one, put this right here. It's another little one. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Oh, that's so fucking dumb. <laughs> Sleep well, slime. You guys too. I'm just trying to see if there's anything more I want to throw up here. Uh, did I show you... I, th I showed you guys him defending, yeah. He, I showed you him defending uh, pedophilia from his old thing. That was earlier in the stream. If you didn't see it, you'll have to go back. He defended a 26-year-old dating a 17-year-old back in 2021 before it was even known that he was talking about himself. Do -do 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 you guys have seen a lot of this other stuff in my videos, so I'm not... Uh, All right, that's about it. If if nobody has any questions, uh, I really want I want Plague Moth fans to come here and be like, "Uh, Slime Beast, if this is true, then where's the evidence?" So I can go, "Here it is, motherfucker." But you know they never have the balls. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, he defended that. Okay, yeah. All right, let me bring it up one more time. <laughs> let me bring it up one more time for you. Doop, do 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 do. Reopen the closed tabs. Do do do. Full screen. And we're gonna go back for the end of the stream. We're gonna go back to Plague Moth defending a 17-year-old dating a 26-year-old. So there was a discussion uh, in 2021 about somebody else being a 20-something uh, dating a 17-year-old or something like that. And what we have here is Plague Moth defending that, saying it's not pedophilia and it's not illegal for a 26-year-old to date a 17-year-old. Now, he is incorrect in a lot of states. Depending on the state, it is illegal to date anyone or sleep with anyone under 18. So, yeah. Plus, gross. Plus, you're gross, Moth. But yeah, that isn't pedophilia and it's not illegal either. 17 to 26, that's a bit it's a bad stretch, I agree, because mental, and then there's no follow-up tweet. There's a reply, but it's been deleted. So, who knows what was in that. But yeah. Anyway. Anyway. You guys have seen my videos, hopefully. If you don't haven't seen them, go back and watch them. There's one where he's talking about somebody asking for CP in his Discord, and he only banned the guy when he asked the fifth time. Meaning that the other four times he let it fly and let a pedophile sit in his Discord asking for CP. Womp womp. Let's go back to this. Alright guys. I guess that's about it. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, I always hope that somebody... I'm giving a last chance. I always hope that somebody from Moth's camp will say, uh, you're lying about this, so I can put up the evidence that shows that they're wrong. But again, none of his fans have the balls. They're afraid of the fact that they know he is lying, and they don't want it proven to them, so they can keep ignoring it. Mmm. Oh, no. Alright, that's about it. I keep saying that. I should actually end the stream. It's tough for me to end the stream. Okay, goodbye, everybody. <laughs>